So I heard that the fans want to see a Deadpool movie. Yes sir, there's leaked test footage floating around the internet and everything. Great, so if I'm not mistaken, the last time we saw Deadpool, he shot a bunch of lasers from his eyeballs at the end of X-Men Origins Wolverine, and then he had his head cut off, and there was a post credit scene revealing that he wasn't actually dead, so I'm assuming we're gonna pick things up from there? Oh, uh, absolutely not. Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay, so you want to do like a hard reboot then? Yeah, something like that. So who should we get to play Deadpool? Same exact guy. But that's not really how movies work. Yeah, I know, but I think it'll be really cool. Like, we'll have him make fun of all the stupid decisions that went into making X-Men Origins Wolverine. Oh. Okay. Like, sewing his mouth shut? What was that about? Well, we thought people were gonna like it. We're also gonna make fun of you guys for being cheap. Okay, that's a little mean. And now the timelines of the X-Men movies don't make any goddamn sense. We work really hard on those. And at the beginning of the film, we're gonna have some intro credits that say that the movie was produced by asshats. That kinda hurts my feelings. That's hilarious. So anyway, we're really gonna do right by the Deadpool character by having him break the fourth wall a bunch of times. Oh, how's he gonna do that? It's mostly gonna be variations of him turning to the camera and being like, hey, I'm breaking the fourth wall right now. That's actually really good. Yeah, not bad, huh? So what's this movie about? Well, basically, Wade Wilson is gonna fall madly in love with this woman, Vanessa. Oh, what's she like? She's crazy in the bedroom, and she knows what Star Wars is. That is every teenage boy's dream girl, and I want no more character development than that. Oh, uh, don't worry, that's where it ends, my friend. Perfect. So anyway, Wade is gonna learn that he has a terminal illness. Uh-oh. And so this creepy guy tells him they can cure him and give him superpowers. Wow. So he goes to this workshop, but it turns out that it's run by this bad guy, Ajax, and he really hates Wade. What's his backstory. He's also a product of the workshop and that's as far as we're gonna dive into that. Does he have powers? Yeah, he has really fast reflexes and he doesn't feel pain or emotions or anything really. Why does he hate Wade? Well, cause Wade keeps cracking jokes and he finds out that his real name's Francis, so you know, he feels pretty angry about that. I thought he couldn't feel anything. Did I say that? Yeah, like a second ago. Whoopsie. Anyway, so what do they do at the workshop? Well, they inject Wade with this serum that'll awaken any mutant genes he might have, and then they try to trigger that by putting him through extreme stress. Very evil. And so they torture him, and he develops super healing. So did they know those were the powers he was gonna get? No, they didn't know what he was gonna get. Well, then what was the plan if he didn't develop those specific abilities? What do you mean? Like, let's say his mutation ended up being that he can now fly. Yeah. So now they have a guy who can fly, but who's still about to die because of his terminal illness. Right, when you put it that way. Not a very good business model. Not the best, no. Huh. So anyway, they get lucky and he gets healing powers. All right. And so now Wade can recover from anything, but he's not super attractive anymore. Oh, he gets disfigured. Well, disfigured is a big word. He has bumpy skin and no eyebrows. Gotcha, so it's not gonna be like a huge plot point or anything. It's gonna drive the entire movie. Oh, it is. Yeah, well, now that he's movie ugly, he doesn't think his girlfriend's gonna love him anymore. Okay. So he wants to track down Francis so he can fix his face. That's a pretty thin storyline. Oh yeah, super thin. Feels like the whole movie could just be resolved by having a conversation. For sure. So we're gonna stretch the whole thing out by having him fight a bunch of different people But we know he's not in any danger, right? It's gonna be hard to make that entertaining actually super easy barely an inconvenience really Yeah, I'm just gonna fill all the scenes with a lot of fourth wall breaks and a whole lot of penis jokes Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean there's gonna be a couple of non penis jokes in there, but it's mostly penis jokes penises are tight Oh, what? Oh god. I didn't mean that. I mean like the, the penis the jokes the jokes are funny Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> it's fine. So what else happens? Well, there's also this mutant colossus that wants Deadpool to join the X-Men. Why? Because that works. And we're gonna do that thing where the bad guy kidnaps the girl to lure the guy into a final fight. Very cool. And Deadpool's gonna put Vanessa in a glass container and throw her about 200 feet down to the ground. Oh, so she dies? Nah, she's totally fine. How? Physics, I don't know. Okay, and so that's about it. Well, it sounds like teenagers are really gonna enjoy this movie. Actually, I kinda wanna make it super gory and have a lot of nudity. Oh, so you think it's gonna be rated R? Oh yeah. So it's like the perfect movie for teenagers, but they can't see it without a parent or guardian. That's right. How's this thing gonna make any money? Well, I figured maybe you could handle that with like a crazy amount of marketing. I guess I'll have to. Great, thanks. Oh, one last thing. What's that? Did you happen to include a Stan Lee cameo or? I did. Good, it's important we show that man respect. Hey guys, Ryan here. Hope you enjoyed that pitch meeting. We have a lot more of these on the channel, so be sure to check those out. And let me know in the comments section what other movies I should do pitches for. You can also subscribe and like the video, share it with your friends, and check back soon for a new pitch. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.